In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to prepare your file for cutting. Now that we have our files uploaded into Design Space, we do need to prepare the file for cutting. Now, if you look over here to the right and you'll see the panels window, you are going to see the main peach. Let me bring that up here. And it is highlighted in gray, you can see that. And there are two layers to this element. Now this layer is a score layer. You can see that I can turn that on and off and you can see that. We need to go ahead and tell Cricut that we would like these to be attached. We do put score lines on a separate layer so that you can change those should you choose. By default, any SVG line you upload to Design Space is converted to a cut line unless you tell it otherwise. So we include those on a separate layer. In order to cut those together, you do need to highlight that layer and click attach. Let me show you if I didn't do that, what it would look like. So if I went ahead and I sent this to cut, you're going to see that it first wants to go ahead and cut out this piece here. And you can kind of see that it put those score lines off to the right, which is not what we want. So again, if we just highlight main peach and we click attach, when we go ahead and send it to make it, you will see that that score line appears exactly where it needs to be on that element. And now you can go ahead and just click continue and follow the prompts on your machine to cut your project. All right, now that we have our files uploaded onto the Cricut Design Space app, we do need to prepare the file for cutting. I'm going to go ahead and click on that layers panel so that I can see my layers over here on the right. And now I'm simply gonna just start moving things out of the way just so I can get an idea of what I have. So that has one layer to it. I do not need to attach that. The Lime Aid has one layer. This Lavender has one layer. However, this Peach does have two layers that I need to attach. I simply need to go and click Actions. And then over on the left here, you're going to see that paper clip and attach. And now I can go ahead up to the top right and click make it. And now I can go ahead and follow the prompts and cut this out on my machine.